here with uh, Alison Wenham, uh, the CEO of uh, AIM, so the Association of Independent Music. Uh, great turnout here today at Music Connected, so uh, how are you finding the event today? It's absolutely great. I mean, you have to come to really feel the buzz and the energy and, and, you know, you have to come every year because every year there's a new surprise, that everything's changing. Yeah. Um, keeping up is one of the big challenges. Of course, especially for for uh, independent labels because the teams are smaller and they have to do so much more than you know than a, a large organization, right? So they have to really try and keep up with what, what the latest developments in the digital industry are. Yeah, this is like taking a great big digital bath today, you know, and people are scribbling in there all day long. I mean, it is helpful that we do film it and it'll go on our website next week. Um, but people are scribbling all day long and you couldn't amass this amount of market intelligence and also what works and what doesn't work to to, to screen out the white noise and go where the big labels go where the successful dance labels you know what what's working for them and what's not working for them so you can come away from here with pretty well the next year's business plan yeah Yeah. and uh, of course it's an event that's been running for for a few years now so how how's the evolution been of uh, both the, the, the event itself and, and the adoption of, of digital from independence as well? Well, you might not believe this, but when we first started this event, it was for physical distributors. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This was about getting labels in the room with distributors because back in the old days, I mean, this is only 13, 12 years ago, um, the big challenge for labels was finding distributors. And then, you know, this whole revolution came along and now the distributors and the aggregators and the consolidators and whatever you want to call them sit in with the labels but the labels are very much more in control of the how to's you know how to work this how to make it uh, how to make it successful and profitable and reach your fan base so the evolution has been right the way through from physical to digital and uh, and uh, well next year you know who knows who knows exactly and talking about attendance do you see like you know there's a labels from all sizes and shapes you know from very large independence to you know one one man bands but what's the trend on that on that front do you see a lot more you know smaller shops coming in yes i mean uh i'd say about three years ago um the digital world was working better for some than for others certainly catalog uh companies were finding it tough going partly because of the demographic on the internet not really switching over to digital but uh, today i would say that's pretty well all gone and whatever genre you're in uh save for maybe this one or two metal looks like a bit of a problem um there where you know they, they've just migrated they've yeah. met in the middle somehow the audience and the um the catalog companies and the, and the you know the traditional companies are finding that there's a much much bigger audience for them now and we just saw a presentation from eagle rock you know yeah. which is a big uh, one of the big companies and cherry red is another company that's seen very strong growth in the last year yeah, sure. That's great. Well, thanks so much for your time and I uh, uh, hope you enjoy the rest of the day. Thank you very much. <laughs>